before I started practicing yoga, I never really knew there was some such a thing as just being simply happy with where you are. I just figured out pretty early that's something I want to share with the world and not, um, yeah, not keep to myself. We go around the world and she teaches workshops and I, I'm in charge of everything that has to do with the retreat except for the teaching. I love doing big classes with lots of people, kind of sharing the same vibration and the same intention for just an hour or two hours. You're elevating not just your own space, but you can feel, you can almost touch it in the room. We know each other very well, so we know uh, what the other person lacks and what the other person is good in. The idea of him not like doing all of this with me is like terrible. I mean, I can I can do it. Like I'm a strong person, and you know, I I've been teaching on my own my for a long, long time. But just having him as a support, you know, he's definitely the balance that keeps this ship like sailing smoothly. Meeting Rachel really changed my life a lot. It, it just opened a lot of doors that I never thought that would have been open. I see myself doing this until we have kids and then we would have to like settle down and not be on a plane like every other week. It's like this kind of mellow lifestyle where we're just focusing on being really happy and having people share that with us. I mean it's the most important thing. Without happy what do you have? I mean it doesn't matter. It's like the point of everything, you know, whatever we do, if it's like work or money or career or finding love, relationships, body, whatever it is, it's just happy. And if you really find that happy, you're going to realize like none of, the, none of that stuff matters at all. It's just like means of getting there.